Hi guys, for today's video, I was going back and forth. I wasn't sure if I wanted to sit down here and do this haul or if I wanted to go ahead and start filming like the fall decorating videos. I want to actually get started on my living room first and then I realized there's a couple of things I still want to be on the hunt for. So I think we're not going to start the decorating until I think Thursday's video. I'm not entirely sure. I'd have to look at my schedule, but irrelevant. I just felt like sitting down today. I have this stuff to share with you guys. I thought it'd be really fun. I did one haul before and it was just showing you guys all the stuff that uh, my daughter got for her college apartment. And then I decided I wanted to take her to the at home store and we found some really great stuff for her apartment as well. So I thought it'd be fun to just sit down and show you guys these things because they would normally not really be in my videos otherwise. Because of this, uh, when she's going to be a sophomore, so she's not going to be living on campus, but when she was living on campus, it was a dorm room situation and, you know, we had to buy um, specific things to fit in that specific space and, you know, her bedding was a twin and now her bedding is going to be a queen. So there's just going to be, you know, um, other things. Plus, she's actually going to have a kitchen, whereas they didn't have a kitchen, you know, in the dorm room and they were only allowed a mini fridge and a microwave and I don't even know if the girls honestly use the microwave. But, uh, so, you know, you re we really couldn't buy all of the utensils there's no point you know so uh but now it's almost it is like apartment living and even though she is gonna have roommates you know she still has to have like her own things and all of that stuff so i don't actually have anything ready in order for like categories like bedding kitchen so we're just gonna we're just gonna go in and actually i want to show you guys this item it's actually from ikea we did stop there and it is a big shark stuffed animal. And here's the backstory on this guy. This is actually our second time buying him. And she, we got him before she moved into her dorm room last year. And she took him to, it's, it's a him. And she was washing him in the laundry space in the dorm and somebody straight up stole it. Like, I really don't know that I understand why. Let's go again. But anyways, so I showed you guys from Pier 1 that we got her some plates and bowls. And then actually one of you mentioned that uh, they're not really microwave safe, which, duh. I don't even honestly even know like what I was thinking, to, to be honest. And I actually didn't mention that fact to my daughter. But in the back of my mind, I was like, okay, hey, we're going to need something different. And she actually was like oh um can we return the pier one stuff because i heard that there's like this really simple plate stuff from ikea and it's like 20 bucks i want to get it and i was like well we can't actually return to pier one because they're going out of business and it's final sale um but uh this ended up being 20 dollars, and it's just you know very ikea it's really plain it's just white simple not a big deal and i thought that was actually a really good deal and i love just you know the, the flat white of it so we did that i have no idea what i'm actually going to do with the pieces that i got from pier one but there we go okay was is that it from ikea i don't know i guess we're going to find out but let's keep going so she also has her own bathroom that's the other thing that we're also buying for is that in the dorm room she didn't have a bathroom it was a community bathroom so we didn't have to buy you know the shower curtains and all of those accessories basically for her freshman year we bought like the shower caddy the shower shoes and all that stuff so got some bath mats she's actually still going with the same colors that she loves and has in her current bedroom and bathroom these are really nice this is from the at-home store I was really surprised by the quality it was $9.99 and then we went ahead and got another shower caddy. This is the exact one that I hauled not too long ago when I moved into this house. And it's the one that is in her bathroom. 
it's a really really good and it's super awesome quality it has not rusted it hangs really well in her shower and it just it's definitely worth the money this is a an awesome shower caddy it's not a big deal it's not fancy they're relatively inexpensive this was $8.99 from the at-home store this is how she likes to store her shoes and yeah so she has one in her closet right now but this is going to be one that she has in her apartment and the only reason why we're not taking some stuff from her this space to the other space it's because she's going to be living pretty much in both places most likely half of the year there half of the year here so to like bring things back and you know so it was just like okay because you know why why do all that so um also the housing situation is different in the fact that the dorm rooms were only were only in use for the actual school year and they were actually shut down for the winter break so you actually had to leave but the apartment situation is just like a real apartment it's a full year lease so regardless of the school break or anything like that she can be in her apartment 365 days in the year so that's why we were just like okay let's not do this back and forth thing um okay so then while we were at the at home store we found this candle and actually i was really impressed with this candle and almost got one for me and i'll probably go back and get one and this one is called rosemary juniper and then um we she wanted a tupperware set honestly i have no idea why i just don't she doesn't she's not like a cook she doesn't she, you know she's just not in into that so i'm just i really don't know but you know what we picked it up and it has 20 pieces for 14.99 that's actually less than buying 20 items at dollar tree because then it would have been 20 dollars this was 14.99 so that means it's less than a dollar for each container we did get her a set and i thought this was kind of pricey it was 29.99 i was just like yeah this might have been this definitely would have been cheaper at walmart but we were there and and we went ahead and picked it up so and you can tell there's a little design here so she can easily you know know that those are hers and then we got her a quilt so did i show you guys her bedding was that in the last video? I don't even remember, but she's doing something very similar, again, to what she has now. She's a white bedding, and but she loves these colors. And I was excited because it was on clearance, so it was actually half off. So it ended up being $25 for this quilt. And she was telling me, she was like, everywhere I looked, they were so expensive, like anthropology or wherever she was looking, they were just astronomical prices so i was really i was really glad that she found a quilt that she loved for 25 bucks so there's that okay then this stuff is from i think i'm bouncing around but this stuff is from amazon and it's just a white shower curtain liner and she just needed a shower curtain liner and it says uh, no mildew so that's good and we need the curtain rings or shower curtain rings and i ever since i decorated the guest bathroom in the media room i bought these double hooks and i love them they're so awesome because you can put the shower curtain liner on one hook and then the shower curtain on the other hook so i went ahead and bought another one of these from amazon and then we got her queen sheet set from amazon as well this was actually very inexpensive i have no idea about the quality but it's just plain white, 1800 thread count. We bought a bunch of these that have like the wood detail with the gray. I thought those were really, really cute. Very her again. And this was $4.99 for this spatula. And then this one was also $4.99. <clears throat> and then a pizza cutter. And then just like a wooden spoon. This was $2.99. The pizza cutter was 
also $4.99. And then the measuring spoons, $5.99. And then we also got the matching pan set. I told her, I was like, listen, you know, let's get you some of the basics. Let's not <clears throat> let's not buy every absolute single thing for a kitchen until you start living there and figuring out, are you actually doing any cooking? Are you actually utilizing any of these things? So let's just get like these little pans. She also probably needs just a pot, you know, maybe to make like noodles or something, I don't know, or mac and cheese. So we'll need one of those and then a strainer. But other than that, I was like, we don't need to get you a whole, you know, set of pots and pans and lids. Like you're not, you're not gonna be a chef. Like let's, like that's not like your thing. And then this is just a decorative piece. I believe this is the last thing. I thought this was, I thought I had more, but uh, it's just a little decorative tray for her bathroom. And it's just a little decorative tray. She'll put like her little bathroom things in here. And this was $16.99. And because this stuff was already in the pile, I'll go ahead and show you guys what I got for the house. And you're probably gonna see this again in my collective haul because I'm now gonna be decorating for the kitchen. That's gonna be the next space. I thought it was gonna be the guest bedroom, uh, but I'm eager to get to the kitchen so that I can get the everyday decor in its place and then I can decorate that for the holiday season. So at the at-home store, I found this cake stand and I absolutely fell in love with it. And I really love this one and it was $14.99. You have the galvanized look to it. I love the little scallop trim and I can't wait for you guys to see how I'm gonna utilize this in the kitchen. And then I have a very specific plan in mind of how I want it to look. So um, I wanted one of these hanging baskets. Can't wait for you guys again to see how I'm gonna use this in the kitchen. But I could not find this when I was going to Hobby Lobby or anywhere. So I just kind of searched it up on Amazon and that's where I found it. And then the last things I got from Amazon are these wood salt and pepper shakers. It was a set that came together for about $20 and it says salt S and P there, but they're gonna sit out on the counter in a decorative, really pretty way. So as I was putting away everything, I found this and wanted to make sure that I showed you guys. This is from Ikea, the plant and this little wicker basket pot here. And they had it on display like this. I mean, it doesn't really fit because <clears throat> as you can see, it sinks down a little bit, but she really liked the look of it. So she got, she got obviously both of the, the pieces. It was relatively inexpensive. I mean, it's Ikea, it's really cute. I feel like their place is gonna need some sort of pop of greenery and yeah, so really adorable. Anyways, that's it for today's video. Loxie snoring away. And by the way, for my vlog channel, for those of you who follow my vlog, I have a movie on my TV right now. And I want you guys to comment and tell me what movie you think is on my TV. I'm, I feel like it's gonna be the most hilarious thing. But if you watch my vlogs, please guess what movie you think is on my TV right now. Anyways, that's it for today's video. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.